gospel to the people. Every piece of every corner of this church I have the Holy Ghost to root up.
died. And I'm not going to try to preach up a sermon. I've been speaking to you for the past hour. All I'm saying to you tonight that Jesus is determined to save you. Save him, to save you. To save all of you that are here to life. All of you that are here to life. I'm sure if the only you that are here tonight knew for sure that this was your last night and that you were never hear a word like this. This was your last night. You would have made everything right tonight with Jesus. If you were sure that it was your last night. I cannot tell you all of you something. Take the very long time. Take the very long Is it the same way all of you are standing here right now? In 2008, a lady was standing right at my altar in the world over. The same way all of you are standing here. Now, remember when I spoke to her, I shared it with this church already. And when I spoke to her tonight about baptism, I said to her, You need to give your life to Jesus. And she says, I'm going to get baptized. I'm going to get married on the 9th of October and then I'm going to be baptized. In return, I asked her a question. I said, Who told you? That you're gonna live to see that game. I was speaking to her in July. She said she was gonna do it in October. I asked her who told you to see it. Her response to me was, Don't worry, you will see. All I could do is pray for her, leave her. I went to Curacao and I came back the first Sunday in October of 2008. My choir director met me right at the door and said, you say, you remember that lady that we were talking to? You know that today is her funeral? Hear what happened to her. The reason why she came to church that night was because she was feeling sick in her body. And she came for prayer. And I said, instead of just praying for you, I want to give you an invitation so you can have eternal life. And she walked away from it. And she died and never get a chance to be baptized, never get a chance to be married. I had you earlier. I said, if you are sure that tonight was your last night, will you make it right? I said, all of you shaking your head and say, yes, I know. But my question to you, who told you that you have another one? Mark you, I just, just buried one of my friends a friend was a preacher in Rhode Island. He was preaching the Sunday morning, took sick the evening, died the Sunday night. So preachers died too. I could be preaching to you, but this is my last night. I could be preaching to you, and tonight is your last night. I'm not about to preach another sermon to force you up in here. My question is simple. Those of us who need eternal life, if you need eternal life, I'm not trying to put you in a place to push fear into you. That's not what I'm doing. I'm trying to show you the importance of serving God because tomorrow was not given to us. Tomorrow was not given to us. Because here is the thing, all we ever speak about is tomorrow, but we never see tomorrow. And when tomorrow comes, we call it today. We never call it tomorrow. Because tomorrow was not given. I'm through. Honor yourself in the presence of God. Before I hand over this mic. If you need Jesus tonight, lift up your hands. That's one. Lift it up. There's a song that says, Jesus says, I am here to use a praise. Go ahead. Because tomorrow, the very well be too late. I'm tired of, I'm tired of, of seeing people gambling with their soul. And those of you who are okay, you know what?
want Jesus now, you can just go back to your seat. For those of you, if you don't want him now, you can go back to your seat. Yes. I'm not forcing anybody. You don't want him now, that's all right. 